Good morning. We're live at IDM for the Mets Bucharest Open Day 2. This is uh, your host for today. It's Cosmin German. And I'll be joining you for the morning session until the afternoon, after which my colleague Rico will, uh, will join you. We're going to have a very interesting match here between uh, Gradiznik and uh, Suditu. Thank you very much for joining us. Do share and subscribe. You'll be notified for each match. So we're at the beginning of the match. Uh, a ball in hand offered by Suditu to uh, a very interesting uh, player, Gradisnik, very uh, solid player. Will be interesting to see exactly. I haven't had the occasion to watch her playing, but I've seen some results and it's uh, pretty impressive. So this ball should be for the frame mostly. Very good cue ball control. from Anna Gradiznik. She's definitely one of the best ladies out there at the moment. A very tough beat. And she goes one up against our compatriot Mihai Suditu. So it's uh, Mihai to break. Oh. So the cue ball right in the side pocket. It's going to be ball in hand for Anna. And there is already a bit of a problem at the three and four. Or I, I think it's. I think it's three and five actually. which are a bit of an issue, but she does have ball in hand and it's interesting play here. She's trying to break up the three and the five with the two and snooker behind the nine, eight. Very uh, finesse shot. Uh, of course, you need to hit a rail, so speed is uh, is the key here. Perfect shot, perfect shot. She'll take that. Yeah, he's not trying to find the two. He's just going to break them apart. Make Anna. Um, make it hard for the Slovenian lady to actually play for the third uh, 
foul already with two fouls the cue ball on the break and uh, the foul that uh, was just committed now so another foul in case uh, CD2 doesn't make contact with two at the next play he's gonna lose the frame but Anna is looking to to pounce from what I can see and uh, clean this up balls are sitting pretty nicely for a cleanup She won't mind coming up uh, straightish on the six to uh, keep it for the seven. Yeah, pretty good. Just hold the cue ball for the seven. Probably should the eight in the same pocket as the seven. And she's looking pretty good for a 2-0 lead. Fell a bit short on this eight. She might need to do a bit, a bit of something extra here than she wanted to on the eight to get to the nine. Two options here: either low right, or he can. She can also play it. She feels confident enough with high left spin. I think she's going for the high left spin. Three rails. Solid shot. Oh, so that nine was about to mention I'm glad I didn't mention anything about how slightly tough this nine is. It wasn't the easiest of nines, especially early in the match where you might not be or might not already just be settled in yet. You would like to be a bit more off that rail on that nine ball, so chance for Mihai to uh, to tie this up. A bit unexpectedly, the way the table looked after he gave that second foul. And he cannot convert. Too thick on that nine ball and not able to pounce on uh, Anna's mistake. She's looking to pot this nine ball for a 2 0 lead. Yeah, so it's gonna be 2-0 for the Slovenian. This morning we'll, be, we'll play Flavian Glontz. We're starting to get uh, into the thick of things. The matches are gonna become more, more close and tougher for everyone.
So Sudito at the table. Not a clean shot on the one. I think he can see the edge. Nice little shot here from Mihai. Good speed control. Not the easiest of hits. I mean, she can definitely go two rails, but the problem here is you need to hit it just thick enough to not put the cue ball into that left corner pocket after the one is contacted. That's the highest risk. So this is not going to be an easy one for sure. She might just go a short two rail, yeah, and that's what she's looking for to avoid any of that. Although a bit uh, tighter on the space, I think he, she should be able to make some contact. Problem is, of course, if she leaves anything or not. I think she can see the edge of the one. Wow. Didn't really, uh, or. No, I think uh, it's ball in hand. I think that's what she tried to do. Just hit the edge of the one, pot the eight. But I think they concluded that uh, the contact was not made clean with the one first and ball in hand for Mihai. Nice looking table here for uh, Mihai. Just need to connect the dots here. Nothing too fancy. The five to the seven. Uh, I'm sorry. There is also six here on the table. to uh, really stretch for this one it's not the easiest of shots especially if he pulls out uh, or he stretches like here Yeah, solid shot from Mihai. Now, he doesn't really want to be straight here.
is pretty straight now and it's not ideal at all he really he really would have loved an angle or just be off that rail a bit elevating he might want to just screw it a little bit just enough to see the seven in the corner or yeah he tried to go two rails forward not enough spin really he really did try to go as much forward as he could but not with any spin that would have helped of course would have also made a shot tougher Uh, an attempt at a safety not really uh, able to uh, hide the ball he did put some distance but Anna right back tried to oh yeah she went for the safety I thought she would have uh, gone for the pocket definitely would have been a tough shot much better play here from her Showing some experience, not forcing a shot. I think Mihai can see an edge of this seven. Of course, uh, safety play won't be uh, easy to actually hide the ball. Just put some distance, maybe leave a bank or something. Oh, careless mistake from Mihai and. Uh, and there were a couple of those in the last two frames and Anna goes three up.
So Anna with a chance to go four up. Nice looking clean table right now. She's been playing pretty solidly so far in the tournament. She's won uh, two matches, 9-8 against uh, Pelip Chan in a 9-0 oh, in the second round, so looking uh, solid so far. has been a couple of mistakes out of which uh, I couldn't take advantage of and there was that miss uh, nine ball Good solid cue ball control to uh, get straight on this nine for a 4 0 lead and a chance. So the winner qualification side is going to start at 5 30, and the loser side, uh, at least as far as qualification side, will start at about seven and uh, so tomorrow we're gonna start for the uh, eliminatory round it's gonna be around 32 32 players will uh, start off tomorrow in the single elimination uh, bracket going to be very interesting to see what those matchups will look like she's looking to go airborne on this one Not a bad idea. Four is pretty close there. If she misses, she can send a two ball back. So, a lot of value in the shot. Yeah. She did left the shot. Not the easiest of twos. Position to the four, though, might just come relatively naturally with two rails in. If he, if he can avoid the 8 ball. So Mihai misses on the two ball. He did leave a tough uh, cut to the side or either way. Not an easy uh, positional shot for the four.
Might just slow roll this one into the side and just leave herself with a longer four, which might just go into the left corner pocket, but she opted for the safety. Really smart play from her. Interesting to see the composure and safety play uh, in situations where most players might just attack a certain shot. She really uh, seems calculated enough to uh, play the percentages. She can definitely see an edge of this too. Question is, oh yeah, she's she just needs to jump the edge. So interesting to see uh, her ability with a short queue. Yeah, we definitely go for that uh, short queue on this one. Also, there's value in a uh, positional. If she jumps that, she also might just get the positional shot. Just a bit of a follow through after the two. Yeah, she caught it a bit late. Yeah. Chance for uh, Mihai needs to uh, really uh, start to uh, string a few balls together, get into some some feel, and put some on the scoreboard if he wants to keep this close. Try to squeeze that two into the corner pocket. Not sure if the eight was uh, on the way in, in any way, but uh, could have just affected that shot enough to uh, want to overcut it. So Anna with uh, very uh, not a, not the easiest of shots, but if she gets this one in a solid position. Could be just the shot of the frame here. Yeah. 
would have not been an easiest of shots on the two I'm not really sure about the speed though on that shot and um, she wouldn't have gotten I think a position on the floor uh, I think and I can see the this too although it's definitely gonna be a very difficult shot having to queue over that six ball never easy these ones I just have uh, the bridge uh, right enough to see the cue ball fully nice shot perfect shot uh, as far as the pocketing goes see if uh, that four goes into the side I think it does yeah. very big shot from Anna she's made a couple of mistakes but she's been making the big shots and uh, Pouncing on the mistakes from behind. And this nine ball for a five zero lead from Anna Gratisnik. And the pot is So Mihai here looking to find a four ball. I'm sorry, that was the one ball, a bit of a visual uh, illusion. So she's gonna try to find uh, the one ball, looking to jump.
pretty good jump, found safety. Mihai is gonna see the one with no clear shot at it. sure about that shot if she played it I think played a two-way shot but would have loved to miss on the other side hit it a bit fuller and leave it close to the lower rail so Mihai with a clear shot on the one and a nice chance to get on the board Bad miss for Mihai on the one. She's between the pockets a bit here on the four. Yeah, nice shot here. Mm. Nice cut on the four, shot at the five. She can go three or even four rails for position on the six. It was always going to be an issue that uh, corner pocket since the eight might have been just a bit in a way for a four rail shot. So bowling hand for me high. Chance for him to get on the board and start to get into some rhythm Anna has definitely given him a few chances he hasn't been able to convert so let's see if uh, he can change that a bit so this nine ball Get on the board for Mihai Suditu. Table where Anna breaks. Illegal break, only one ball past the string and just one ball in the pocket. Oh, actually, it was a dry break. So it's Mihai's option. He's looking to push. No clear shot on the one.
couple of uh, safety shots here I think uh, Anna is gonna try to jump at this one I think uh, Mihai can see the edge of this one. Of course, uh, not sure if it's enough to pocket it into the right corner. But either way, it's, it's a tough position for the two. Might just want to play here for a safety or, or just jump it. He might just go for the nine here since he's already jumping. Why not? Good hit. He's gonna leave a shot. No uh, available pocket for Anna, but uh, pretty good uh, safety options here, really. And just like that. Good speed. Very nice kick safety here from uh, from Mihai. Solid looking shot. Nice distance. And I think I'm gonna try to uh, edge the one, but uh, came in rail first and left a shot for Mihai. pretty straight on this one you might just want to screw just a bit to get to the yeah he's gonna play the two six combo or the two eight he does have options i think he's gonna go for the two eight much uh, easier pot two will also uh, stay close to that side Bit of a tricky shot here, being close to the two. Just has to cut it a bit. Also, uh, keep position for the three. It's a pretty shot. Best shot uh, of the match from uh, Mihai Suditu. Really good looking. And if he d just uh, gets into a rhythm, string a couple of frames together. This 
might just uh, make it at least interesting or get it close you never know no match is over until the last nine ball is pocketed yeah he really tried to to go into that he's gotten a bit lucky and yeah, we'll uh, have to uh, kick at this So not close on that one. It's gonna be ball in hand for uh, for Mihai. Still has to do has still has to uh, do some work here. He's gonna have to make some travels. Three to the four. bit of a tricky shot here being so close to that to that rail would have liked to just bit a bit of a straight on this six on this five he's starting to get into a solid rhythm here Mihai really a uh, good pocketing in the last couple of frames Starting to build some confidence, you know. He's gonna be, be, be breaking next. So this nine ball for two consecutive frames on the board, he knocks it down. Starting 5-0, a bit of a rhythm now for Mihai. His stroke uh, is looking a bit better now than uh, at the beginning of that match. on the break for Mihai dry break and also clear shot on the one two is a bit in a, a bit in a tricky spot not much else uh, she could have done with that one left herself a cut on the two also uh, can play a bit of a two-way shot since she has to drop down for the three close to her yeah the two caught the nine just before the 
just after the contact so Mihai with a chance back at the table a bit of a scrappy uh, couple of frames as well from uh, from Anna after the good start So he misses the pot, but he gets a bit lucky, pots the five ball. Of course, uh, no shot on the two though. We'll rather shoot at this than, uh, than not. Pretty big shot here, if he can just get it in a safe position, can put the pressure on Anna. A bit of a hidden hope here, and he's not gonna leave a shot for Anna, of course. She can definitely lock him up now. thinking about the fact that that side could be an option uh, always tricky uh, if you're not right close to the table sometimes uh, the angles might fool you so Anna with a chance to go up 6-2 after two frames in a row lost a matter of connecting the dots here get a good angle on that seven ball Pretty good shot, good angle. bit straight here all about the speed of this uh, screw right here mm, he overcooked it but in the result of that being almost straight in on the side pocket though she'll take that Always tough to judge uh, that speed on the screw, of course, you never really want to remain without it. So Anna to break. Yeah, it's going to be illegal. The one ball in the side, but no balls cross the string. So it's going to be Mihai's option. Mm -hmm. 
So Anna trying to jump this, yeah. I think he can see the two. So Mihai with a chance. Not an easy positional shot on the three really. And another miss here. Anna's back at the table. Not sure if you can see the two enough to pot it. So another miss, a bit of a few mistakes creeping in uh, Anna's game too. Mihaya has been a bit better in the last few frames. Yeah, so after the pocketing of the two, Mihai also blocked. I think that's the four. So now he has to do something extra with the cue ball after pocketing this three. No, oh, that's a big miss. Not even close, so Anna back at the table with ball in hand. And what a difference uh, the ball in hand makes if that cue ball would have remained on the table. No shot at the four was going to be available, so solid chance here to really take back control. Two more ball, balls to go. She has been pretty solid in open table. Hasn't made much mistakes uh, when the balls are sitting up. 
open a bit between the pockets right here for this nine I like to be a bit straighter on it not the easiest of nines He squeezes the nine from Bucko. There are about eight players, and uh, out of which a junior at uh, 16 years of age that came here for the Bucharest Open. So eight players from Bucko. Yeah, and uh, Mihai just uh, mentioned me yesterday about the academy they started there at Baco and yeah, the, the Star Billiard Sports Club. And he did mention how they just want to make uh, this group for the next generation where they can learn the new, the, you know, the secrets of the pool game so do check that out uh, in case you are close to Baco or if you want to have uh, you know if you have a child that will be interested in playing pool Nice little shot here from Anna to lock uh, me high up again. Relatively easy hit here, one rail. Question is, where do you leave it? That's a nice shot, actually. Nice try. So, yes, guys, do share and subscribe this live stream hit the like button and all that because we're gonna have a great couple of days remaining here at idm Mets bucharest open best players in the world joining here in bucharest for this moscone cup event 5,000 euros for the champion. Oh, that's a bad, uh, bad roll for Mihai after pawning that uh, combination. The double kiss and the cue ball is down. So Anna with ball in hand. Not the easiest of tables here really needs a solid angle on the two to really have a chance to open up the three she might just like go for it right now hit the three remain on the two just open up that three a bit or maybe play that here You can also, of course, select to play a safety on the three if she gets uh, close to it. Well, actually, uh, yeah, these are the moments where you're not too sure about the angles. Looking from above or 
you know, from the commentary booth. Apparently, this three should go down if Anna played it like that. Oh, she went for the safety, actually. She had that all in mind. And that's a nice shot right there. Great speed. I don't think uh, she got the snooker behind the brown seven, but very good speed for the three ball. Better shot here from uh, from Mihai. Good speed on the three as well. Left the edge. Left actually a pretty full ball on the three. No obvious shot, of course. she went for the bank and she's gonna leave Mihai in snooker already picking up the short stick to jump it So he elects to kick on it and again the cue ball finds the pocket. He already has two fouls, not that the Anna will elect to play a safety considering only five balls left on the table, all open. Anna looking to get on the hill with ball in hand. Calculating here, making sure she leaves the perfect angle on the six so she can get easily on that seven. Wow, perfect shot here. Really nice, uh, really nice shot. Not many players uh, are going to look for that. Made it really easy to get on the seven. Positive shot, of course. bit too close to that uh, side to that uh, corner pocket with the cue ball she did overrun it a bit not the easiest of eights angle should be naturally going uh, three rails should be fine on the position no shot if she just has to think more about the pot really Nice. 
nice shot and really naturally going three rails and this nine ball for eight two for the slovenian player much better break from uh, from Anna they're struggling a bit with the break so this uh, this is the one of the best breaks uh, of this match from her two balls pocketed shot at a two not an easy uh, positional shot for the three this is basically the key shot in this frame cut it a bit had to do something uh, for the positional shot made, made the ball a bit more difficult to pot and Mihai back at the table with uh, a straight in two and has to also elevate the cue tough one here Yeah, it was never going to be an easy shot, that one. So Anna quickly back at the table. She only has the edge of this two, I believe. See if she can uh, find a safety here. Oh, she went for the 2 3 actually. Or just playing the safety. Not sure anymore the way she plays that cue ball. She might have just uh, used the 3 to uh, slow down the 2 and just uh, naturally looking to uh, snooker just behind that 4. So smart shot if that's the play she wanted. So Mihai unable to make contact with a two and it's gonna be ball in hand for Anna. Already taking a short look at that 5-9 uh, combo. She's already looking to maybe try, no. She might just go for the 5-9 uh, once she gets there. shot of the frame here yeah she will elect to play the five into the right corner pocket a bit flirty with that side but perfection she wants to actually get as straight as possible on this seven doesn't want much of an angle here being that eight is right there close to the rail you rarely want to be straight in on shots, but sometimes 
you want to just do that so a bit more of an angle than maybe would have been ideal two options here leave a, a cut on the eight slow roll this or just go multiple rails i think she'll just slow roll yeah she'll be just fine just fine Yeah, so Mihai concedes after just before the 9 and Anna moves on with a 9-2 victory. Solid game. She's looking pretty good. And we're going to get back with you in a few moments for our next match. Do share and subscribe. We can see all the results and the pyramids and the brackets at nineball.row.billiardport.com do share and subscribe to be kept up to date with the results and the matches and we'll get back with you thank you very much